Yo, what is going on guys? Lightning here, back at it again with another video. We have more FNAF movie news, and it's been a very long time since I made a video on this, but we have more movie news, and I've missed out on so much things, and I will update you guys on all of it. You guys have probably seen this already, but I will show you guys everything that has happened in the production, such as the pizzeria being built, the pizzeria being taken down, leaks, costume leaks, animatronic leaks, and even Markiplier and Daco being in the FNAF film. So make sure to stick around for that. So the first piece of news I have for you guys is the FNAF movie set being built and the sign going on top of it. Now I think the FNAF set looks absolutely stunning. I think the team did a very good job on building it. The sign looks absolutely amazing too. Although there was a lot of people saying that they didn't like the sign because Freddy Fazbear had white gloves on which I don't know why people were saying that. I think the sign looks beautiful. The sign even glows in the dark. If you guys haven't seen the pictures, I will leave the pictures on screen now. No, I don't understand why people didn't like it. I mean, I thought it was pretty good. They have to remember that the movie won't be the exact same as the first FNAF. The, the, the books are the same way. The FNAF Silver Eyes and all the way through the fourth closet, they're not the same as the games. They're gonna have different things in them. But I still think it looks pretty good, although there is no back side to the set, it's just the front side and the sides, but there's no back end to it, it's all one piece. And as fast as the set went up, the set was unfortunately taken down. The pizzeria set was only up for like two weeks, and now it's already gone, which is mind blowing to think about. That just goes to show how fast they're moving along with this film. There's been a house set that's been leaked, which looks really cool if I do say so myself. Now this house looks very familiar. It has a striking resemblance to the FNAF 4 house. Now I personally believe we're only going to see this house through flashbacks. I don't think we're going to be seeing this house too often throughout the film. We could see this house during the events of the Fight of 83, or like when Mike Mike visits the house for whatever reason, I don't know. That could be a scene where like Mike drives by the house to look at it, I don't know. I'm just theorizing here, I'm just saying things that could happen throughout the film. It could, it could not happen, I don't know. Now there is one spot in the pizzeria, or I don't know if it's in the pizzeria, it might be in a different location, but there's one thing that stuck out to me. The rainbow from the FNAF World game. Why is she there? She was so annoying to deal with in FNAF World. She was so unpredictable and so annoying to deal with. She shouldn't have her own ice cream parlor. She shouldn't have that. She don't deserve it. But yet, here we are. We have that. I mean, with all joking aside, I really do think it's a pretty cool feature. I think it's a good Easter egg. I guess it's just a hint towards the OG FNAF fans just to give them something to be nostalgic about. And I can't wait to see whatever FNAF Easter eggs we have throughout this movie. The next piece of news I have for you guys is the leaked scene from the FNAF movie. There's some sort of a fight scene. Josh Hutcherson was in a mall fighting somebody inside a water fountain, which to me doesn't make sense. I don't know how that fits with the FNAF scripts. I mean, it could be like um, how Josh Hutcherson or Mike got the FNAF job. Maybe he like had a fight with somebody and he got fired from his previous job and that's how it all came to be. I don't know. But I think it looks pretty good. I mean, the mall itself looks good. Josh Hutcherson's outfit looks good. I, I think it all looks good in general. That's all I really have to say for this piece of news. There's nothing else that I can really say about it. There could be more leaked things for the movie. I just haven't seen it yet. Now on to the next exciting piece of news. My personal favorite is seeing the suits being used. There are leaked images of Freddy Fazbear in Springtrap suits. They look absolutely amazing. I think Freddy Fazbear's leaked costume looks really good. Now I don't know how true this is. It could be a false teaser, I don't know, but it looks pretty real and it looks really good. There's actually two, two images. The one where Freddy's outside the pizzeria and one where he's on the main stage. I'll put both of them up here. I don't know how true the second teaser is where Freddy's on stage. I don't know how true that is. I think it looks pretty good even if it's a fake teaser. And even if it is a fake teaser, I don't see why the person who leaked it would put so much effort into it, it just doesn't make sense to me, so I personally believe that it is a real teaser. But it could not be, it could be, I don't know. There's a leaked image of Matthew Lillard inside the Springtrap head, which looks pretty cool. He's got the purple suit on and everything, and if you guys noticed, that Springtrap head, or Springlock suit head, isn't green, isn't withered, isn't bloody, nothing. So I believe this is before the Springlock failure, and I believe this is where William goes around killing the kids. That sounds really weird saying that out loud. Now Springtrap looks pretty cool. I think Springtrap is a pretty cool character, and the suit is pretty cool. 
Although there's one main problem that I have with it. I think the Springtrap suit should be a little more greener and a little more bloodier. It looks a little too yellow for me. I don't personally like it too much, but it still looks pretty good. Now my personal opinion is, I don't think Springtrap should be in the first movie. I think it should just be William Afton and that's it. I don't think Springtrap should get springlocked in this movie because if this is based on FNAF 1, we don't see Springtrap getting, or William Afton getting Springtrap, we don't see that just yet. So I think that Springtrap should appear in the third film and not really in the first one, but that's just my opinion. You guys are entitled to feel whatever you guys want about the movie. And I feel like it could be a little more like matted, a little more rotten in a way. It shouldn't be like as fresh as it looks. Well then again, I think it's only like a work in progress. I don't think it's completely finished because it don't look too finished. But still, I think it looks pretty good. There are a few problems with it, but you know, I can't really do anything about it. Now onto the final piece of news that I got for you guys is Daco and Markiplier supposedly being in the FNAF film. It says here that Markiplier says that he cannot say anything about the film. That's a pretty good indicator saying that he has something to do with it. I personally believe that Markiplier will be in the FNAF film. I just think he might be like a short little cameo. I don't think he'll have like at least five minutes of screen time. I think he's only just gonna pop up on screen for like two seconds and then disappear. It'll be pretty cool to see Markiplier in the FNAF film. Markiplier is one of the YouTubers who got FNAF where it is today, so it would be pretty cool to see him have a cameo in the film. And I also think MatPat, Daco, Jacksepticeye, I think some of those guys should at least have a little cameo in it, but mainly Markiplier, MatPat, and Daco. Those three should at least have a little cameo. And speaking of Daco, Daco just made a community post saying that he is going to see the FNAF set behind the films. Behind the films? I mean behind the scenes. Daco said that Sky has invited him to go out and see the set. He said that he has permission to film and vlog it, which will be pretty cool to see. Now I personally do believe Daco will have a cameo in this movie. I mean Scott and Daco do have pretty good ties together. Scott's been donating plenty and lots of money to Daco's charity streams, which is a pretty good thing for Scott to do. And Daco literally interviewed Scott Cawthon for beating 50-20 mode, so I do believe uh, Scott would have invited him out to have like a scene in there, or just to even see it. Daco may not even be in this film, but I, I kind of believe that he will be. Okay, so I'm just editing this video right now, and I forgot to point one thing out when I was making this video. Corey Kenshin does seem a little off. There was this one video that he made that he was saying, like, he's been working on... You know what? I'm just gonna show you guys the clip. By the way, by the time y'all see this, I'm not even at home. Um, I've actually been extremely busy doing some really cool stuff that I can't tell y'all about. But rest assured, y'all are not gonna believe it because I don't believe it. And I'm actually doing it. So excuse the slow uploads. I know I said we getting back to work, but when y'all actually see what's going on, y'all gonna be like, okay, we understand. Which I don't. So could this mean Corey Kent will have some screen time in the FNAF film? I'm not gonna say anything about it. You know what? Screw it. I will make a theory. I think that Corey Kenshin might have a scene in here. I could be wrong, and I think I think I might be wrong. But Corey X Kenshin could be in the FNAF film. That would be absolutely amazing to see, and I would like to see him get you know, a role in the film. That's all the news I have for you guys today. Leave a like on today's video. <coughs> Excuse me. That's all the FNAF news I have for you guys. Leave a like if you guys did enjoy this video and subscribe if you guys are new. Ring that post notification bell so you guys are always notified when a new video or a live stream comes up by me again. All right, well, I'm gonna head out now, guys. Stay safe, stay happy, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, everybody.